So if we go up top to reports and then utilization dashboard, here you can see your allocated input and billable utilization based on your capacity for a given date range. So right now we're simply looking at Q1 of 2019. If I wanted to narrow this down to a specific month or let's just say January and February, I can check the boxes there and you can see all the numbers update below. If you click into a staffer's name, you can see the detail. So you can see that Jeff has 28 hours allocated for the GM client, 31 hours actually input for that client, and all 31.25 hours are billable. If you click into the allocated amount of hours, that will actually take you to the allocation editor for that client, which is pretty useful, and you can edit those allocations from here. And if you click into the input or billable amount of hours, it will run a quick report that will give you the time detail for that period. On the left-hand side, you can change the date range up top. You can also change the cost center filters. So if you're utilizing cost centers at the staff or client level, you can filter by any of the three cost centers that you have set up. And this is another point where your cost centers may differ from mine. So I have service client type and client status. Yours could be location and service offering, for example, and you might have one that just says NA. Those can be customized from my company, my company, and the lexicon here. So just a tip there, if you want to edit your cost centers, here's where you can edit the verbiage on those, as well as your billing rates and your verbiage across your big time site as well. So if you wanted to call your projects jobs, for example, or your tasks phases, you can change that wording here. Okay, you have some other filtering options here on the left-hand side as well to show non-billable clients, to select only specific clients. Right now I'm only looking at the GM client there. And then below you have your staff cost center filters. So whereas above we have the client cost center filters, below are the same filters but at the staff level. And then finally below you can filter by specific staffers. Up in the top right, you can also change how you're grouping. So right now we're grouping by department. I don't use departments in my site, so everyone is unassigned. And then the other options that you have there are based on those cost centers once again. Okay, so this is the second place that you can turn to to look for allocation data along with the allocation graphs.